guys, DJ here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to be testing out a brand that I've seen a lot in a lot of stores that I've been very curious about because it's so affordable. And like, do it work? Do it work? Do, does it work though? We're talking about the brand right here, Profusion. So I have the Profusion Spectrum Palette here, Rainbow Palette. I have the Profusion 8 Shade Banging Pinks Palette. And I also have this highlight contour palette. Now, I've always, I've always seen this stuff for so cheap. And I've just been wondering, are they good? Is it good quality for the price? This one was $5 from Macy's Backstage. This one was $5 from Walmart. This one was from this one was from Walmart. It was in the clearance bin for a dollar. Now, the only problem with it was, for because it's a dollar, it had a shade that had, like, a tear in it. Like, here, look. Take off the little plastic and... It did have a divot. I did get a sanitized wipe and I wiped it clean. So it's clean. So we're good. So we're going to dip in to these eyeshadow palettes and try and create a look. And then when we get to the face, we're going to stop and we're going to try out these highlight contour colors. So we're going to give those a shot today. And also, don't forget to subscribe. You know you love watching my crazy gay ass trying some product, honey. Ooh, excuse me, girl. Hold on. Also, up and coming, keep in mind or keep an eye out for a video including... I'm going to be doing a video on the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 Morphe palette right here. Just came in. We're going to do a double video. A Morphe, Morphe, Morphe video for Jaclyn Hill. Testing out the Morphe foundation now. This shade, I guessed it online. I don't know if it's going to be it. That's going to be the fun part. We're testing it out as well as that palette. That'll be this week or next week. One of those. But, um... Yeah, so let's get started with Profusion. I have my eye primed right here. Let me just make sure there's no creases. I'm going to try and do the same eye because I don't want to have to do, like, two different eyes, you know. So let's get started. I need my brushes. Let's see. Oh, yeah, this Pac-Man brush, y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because you know I had this one from that. Well, actually, you don't know. I haven't shown you that video yet because I need to edit it. But, yeah, the Pac-Man brushes from Wet n' Wild. Oh, yeah. We're going to try this out with a contour. <sighs> Deep breaths. <sighs> Loud and annoying, just like it. Let's see. I want my regular blending brush that we cleaned using that um, brush cleaner from the last video. It's nice and clean. I want to go into this Spectrum palette first, but before I do, there's this one shade in here I want to kind of put in the lit, um, in the crease. This is the shade Innocent. It's like a, it's like a pale pink, kind of nudie. I want to put that in the crease just to see if it can build up to anything. Just so I can have some type of transition, something to start off. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put this in the crease, um... Maybe there's a lot of fallout in this pan, so let's just see. Can this, let's see if this develops any color on the lid. A little bit. Bare, it's kind of there, it's kind of not there. I have, I forgot clean brushes. Kind of hurt a little bit, they're kind of spiky, or maybe that's just my eyes, if you have an idea of what that means. Comment down below. So I just want to build this up. I can start right, starting to see it way more. Stop it, ring light. I can see it a little bit, kind of. I don't need a lot there. We're not going to go too crazy. I'm sure that one is just not as pigmented. It's okay. I need to figure out what do we want to do? What are we feeling? Um, I kind of want to try this pink called Rave. Maybe we'll kind of stay in the pink Maybe like this pink yellow, well, actually, we have the Jaclyn Hill palette video. That's going to be that kind of color story. So how about, because I did this, let me grab this brush that I blended out my primer with. Let me just like go over that because I, I might try one of these bright colors in the crease. Let's try it. How about we just go for this teal? Let's just go for this teal. This teal is called Peacock. Let's just do it. Let's take chances. Ooh. That picked up. <laughs> that picked up. Let's just see what it does. I can see it a little bit. It looks like it looks like it's a color that's gonna need building up. Let's just see. Let's just like slowly build 
this color up. I can, I'm starting to see it a little bit. It's, it's kind of transparent. It's like, it's there, but it's not, I mean, it looks like it, it look, dumb light. It's the first time you saw me abuse the ring light on video. So this is, that's how that looks. It's kind, it's very, very kind of see-through. How would you, I'm looking in the camera as I do this to see if it gets any darker. It's not really getting any darker. Sorta. I mean, I like to stamp my colors in. That's not really showing up too much. Let's go into the... Let's go into the darker shade right here called Nautical. Let's try that color. Let's see. Let's mix that in. Let's just kind of see where that takes us. That coated the brush. Let's dip. Let's mix. Dip and mix. Why does it do that? Does it because my, my hand gets in the light? I don't know what that means. Um... It looks really ashy as hell. It looks really ashy. Just look. It's not building up at all. It's not getting darker as like I picked up a lot. Let's do this. It's like trying to put it on the outer edge and make it deeper and it's not doing it in person it looks really really ashy and that is not what I go for what if I pick some up with my finger like this when I did this a little bit different kind of let's just tap it on with our finger see how it's starting to show up with the finger see that so if we just do that put that there and then pick up the teal with like the tip of your finger and like, oh, look at that. It like literally goes on the eye with your finger. Let me try it. Maybe I should try a different brush. Let's try another blending brush. This is one's from Morphe. This is the Morphe M534. Let's just dip that teal in, tap some off and let's just go back in and just blend that out uh, now let's go into that deep blue and kind of add on to that and uh, it's see now I'm trying to blend it's all gone it's a house labs moment it's a house labs moment it dusted off completely completely <sighs> if I feel like this is a house labs moment all over again <laughs> I'm looking at you right there you're sitting right there I know how about we try this pink one on this side and let's just see where it takes us we're gonna wipe that off <laughs> girl that's getting wiped off let me just let's just prime this eye oh I think I still had blue on there, so let's be careful. I'm just gonna prime that eye really quick. Just did, oh my God, that is just nasty. That's nasty girl, nasty girl. Living in the nasty world, that's what that is. That's just disgusting. Let's try, let's try this pink palette, dust off some of that excess color. I'm gonna go into this pink shade right here. It's called Adore. It's like very fuchsia. Let's see how this pink goes on the lid. Oh. See, that went on way better than those blues. Let's just see, look at this. See, that just went on so much better. You see that pink? Look, I'm dipping more in. And look, it's literally it's literally going on there really good. Just like how I wanted it to do with the blue. Just literally, I just literally did that so fast. 
And now if I go into this deeper shade, let's do uh, Heartbreaker. Heartbreak, it got the best of me. But I just keep on coming back incessantly. Ooh. I'm gonna get copyright strike for singing that. I don't care. How can they tell with my bad singing voice? Honey, Mariah, I, I don't know her. That gif, y'all know. Y'all know what I'm talking about, that gif. This, this color, I'm trying to get it a little bit darker on the edge. I mean, if I don't, it's okay. I can always leave it this way. I'm gonna dip back into that hot pink. And we're gonna go, uh, back through here. Honestly, I'm ha honestly like once that's cut, I'm okay with that. Let's do. I want. Let's just. I just don't like how that. I mean, just with those two shades doing that, I'm like, how do I judge it? Like this pink, what if I did this color on the outer edge? You can kind of see it. I mean, it's already it's already so pink you can't really tell. So we're gonna keep that as it is. Um, we need I need a wipe because I need to um, just wipe this up a little bit, clean it up. Just like that, get a little brush. Okay, I, I wanna cut the crease, do I? Or do I just wanna pack? I'll just, I can just pack the shadow on the lid. Let's see this, this shade right here. It's called Marvel. It, I think it has some type of sheen to it. Let me just like swatch it. It has like a little bit of sheen to it. So how about we stick that right here? Like, can we see it? <laughs> Barely. Uh, Barely. That doesn't really show up that shiny at all. Let's just go to the shade <sighs> Ballet. This is a metallic right here. Let's just dip into this. It does have like a pinky kind of chromeness to it. Let's see how that applies. Um... Where is the color? Where is the color? Come on. I mean, where, where is the color? Where is it? Where are you? Excuse me. Where's the color? Hello? You there? Pigment. <laughs> Hi. Like, barely showing up. I see why you were a dollar, huh? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dip into this, the highlight contour palette, and there's a shimmer in the middle that's kind of pinky. Shade Heartfelt. This looks gorgeous. Oh. <gasps> Hi. Let's try this. See, see, that's kind of showing up. I think it's going to be better as a highlighter. We just need some type of shimmer <laughs> on this lid. And I'm thinking I need something. I'm going to go into this drawer. This drawer. <laughs> Moving my trash bag. I'm trash. I want, if I can reach it in this drawer, you guys. <laughs> on the scene, on the hunt. Where's that pink one I had, you guys? <gasps> I do, I know. No, not that. This. You hear all that noise. Okay. I have it right here. Um, the Bretman Rock Highlighter Duo that I showed you guys in the highlighter video. He has that shade that's deeper. I'm picking some up. And I'm putting that. See, now, see, I can, in person, I can definitely see. How about I just like dip some, there we go. Dip with my finger. See, now that, I can definitely see some shimmer now. I'm gonna tap 
enough of the darker one on with a brush and then I'm gonna go into the lighter shade and brighten it up. So we're just gonna do this. And just like, just make sure it's sort of there and then get, I just blew highlighter all over my room. Do I give a fuck? No. Close that one up and then get this lighter one. I'll tell you, this highlighter is um, See You Next Tuesday, I'm just saying. Is that a bad word? I don't care. See, now that. Oh, wow, see? See, we're starting to get, like, a shinier lid. We definitely are. Let me just make sure the edge is okay. I just wish I, you know, I do have a metallic pink I could add to that. What I might do right now, I'm just going to work on cleaning up this glitter mess. Because, girl, that was really shimmery. What I'm going to go do, I'm going to go clean off this other eye and try and put that on again. And we'll be right back. <sighs> okay, I'm back. I had to pull out the Tati palette to save that lid because it just wasn't <laughs> it was looking pretty crusty on the side ignore the mess right here don't worry we're gonna finish our face have it together i just needed something to fix the mess and it wasn't really the shimmer it's just like if only one shade and actually i tried the pink in here it wasn't it was kind of similar to the one in here that was mattes uh i just don't know how don't fall no oh, just like Oh, I'm looking everywhere. Just not sure. Maybe try the other shades and see what it does. Because those two... All right, so that teal and that navy, that dark blue, those were not the tea at all. Uh, maybe try it on a wet base. I'll retry that again. I mean, the base was kind of wet. It just wasn't, like, wet concealer. But um, this one, I mean, uh, shitty, shitty, meh, decent decent so really those two mattes were really the only ones that like did it for me because this when you swatch it like it's kind of there like a duochrome but then it doesn't show up at all so i'm just like there's a lot of shimmer on my fucking desk but um that's definitely worth a dollar we'll just say that let's get the rest of our face on and we'll just um I'll just tell you how I really feel about everything. We are back with our full face on. We finished our look of the Profusion products. We did dip into another palette to fix it. Did I already say that? I think I did. I did. I did. I already told you that. But um, I did the lower lash line with the blue from this. And how funny. How funny how this blue looked and works out so much better on the lower lash line than it does on the lid. I mean, it does look way better on the lower lash line. But um, that pink in here worked out a little bit. I mixed it into here and a little bit more over there while I was doing my look. It actually looked a lot better. Um, how do I still overall feel about their shadows? I mean, maybe if I try some of the other colors. But it's just right now, just right now, these two definitely don't work out on the lid. Haven't tried the green yet. It could possibly work. Maybe these bright colors are just better on the lower lash line, possibly. The pinks. Now, the, I tell you, the mattes in here, besides that one, were good. Um, this one sucked. I'll get it. And that one sucked. Yeah. This is definitely worth a dollar. I'm. Oh, there's the palette. It fell on the floor. Let's grab it on camera. Um, but yeah, I love how this is so colorful, and that's my favorite kind of, that's my gist. But, um, it just, it's not my favorite at all. It's definitely a $5 palette. I'm trying to clean that up. It's definitely a $5 palette for sure. Maybe I should try something else from them. Maybe something with warmer tones and not as pigmented color like that. And when it comes to the highlight contour palette, let me tell you, these highlights are really pretty. Can you see? A little bit of a glow somewhere it's not a lot it, I mean I'm not really looking I don't I see it right here it's not too severe but it's still cute 
I did like these two contour shades. I actually mixed, I'm trying to get you to, let's open it up. Can we see it? Yeah, these two I mixed together and basically used it as a bronzer and I think it worked. I didn't try this color, um, Cream Light, is that powder? That's powder. I was thinking we can try getting this little brush that I use for powder. Let's pick up, let's pick up some. And let's just go, I'm looking right here. I can see that a little bit. Just like that. So a little bit under the eye. Just I can actually see that a little bit. In person, I can definitely see it. You know what? But yeah, this is great. I do like this. This highlight contour palette. This is really cute for $5. But these two, do I want you to go out, run out, and buy them? Up to you. But me, nah. I mean, they're still cute. I'm going to still experiment. They're not terrible, I'm saying. They're definitely not... Where'd it go? Oh. They're definitely not... It's not that, but, oh, itchy. Right here, I've been getting a little itchy. But, um, oh, look at that bright, look at that bright under eye right here. Look at that, like, girl, yes. Oh, the lip combo. I did this on my Facebook. Some of y'all, if you're subscribed and you're friends with me on Facebook, you already saw me do the rest of my face. I just scratched it. Ugh, I'm good. The Morphe Liner in Coffee Kissy and the Potassium Cosmetics Glow in Carolina. Mm -hmm. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Really cute. Potassium Cosmetics. I'll make sure I link below the website and where you can get information. I will make sure I put it in there. But basically that sums up today's video on profusion cosmetics i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you want more content you want me to try anything else from that brand that you know is good leave it down below let me know i would love to know what profusion is good what stuff is good they had some glittery palettes they had some liquid eyeshadows they had some brushes let me know let a let a bitch know so that's it for today's video have a good day from wherever you are and always stay fierce Bye.